final issue to the Midnighter and Apollo 6 issue miniseries from DC Comics is out. This is written by Steve Orlando and illustrated by Fernando Blanco. I am so sad and this is the final issue that we're going to be getting out of this. I'm really hoping that this is going to continue on somewhere else in the DC Universe. I know there's a new Wildstorm Universe that's going to have its own version of Midnighter and Apollo, but for me that's not the same thing. I really like them interacting with the main DC Universe. This last issue wraps up the storyline where Apollo was taken to hell and being held captive by Neron, and Midnighter fighting his way down to get him back. This run had a nice blend of lots of action taking place, but still it focused a lot on the story as well. What really got me was this had an ending to it, but it still left it open for future stories to be done, but it also kept it very positive. It really established the idea that Midnighter and Apollo love each other, and they're willing to fight all the way down to hell and back in order to stay together. And they're total badasses while they're doing it. They established their own supporting characters, and putting in key elements for an ongoing series to continue on what was happening here. And it's unfortunate that we're not going to be able to get that anytime soon. Your work is great. Fernando Blanco has been a part of this from the beginning and the consistency being drawn between the characters, their interaction in the background, I think is really spot on. There is lots of blood though, so I should warn anyone out there that doesn't like comic books that show lots of blood. There's a couple sexual innuendos and jokes being put in and I appreciate little things like that being played. Like Apollo mentions that he would recognize the back of Midnighter's head anywhere. I have to point out the very last page in this issue has a nice little homage to the Superman story, Whatever Happened to the Man of Tomorrow. The two panels are very similar. Very nice touch and a great homage to an awesome story. Overall, the entire series was well done. Steve Orlando is a great writer. I would recommend this to anyone out there just reading comic books in general. The story itself was well done. The whole gay aspect, that's just a bonus. But that's it. Hopefully we'll be able to see this version of these characters somewhere else later on down the line in the main DC universe. If you're interested in getting this, it's available at just about any comic book store anywhere, or you can go to dccomics.com and download a digital copy from them. That's it for now. Thank you guys for watching me in this video. Check out my Patreon site when you get a chance. Also, check out my social media sites, my website, and everything else out there. Peace, love, and I'll stand. I'll see you guys later. Peace. I don't know why, but I was slightly nervous that there may have been a negative ending happening in this, or maybe there was going to be some sort of cliffhanger, but that was not the case. I'm much more happy with the idea that both of these characters were together, and they had a very nice, heartfelt ending to it.